Right guys, so I'm going to show you how to build tall buildings in Valheim and it's actually pretty easy It's just you may not know how to do it straight away. So what I've got for you here is just some Demonstrations of what to do to basically get taller structures So we need to start off with the foundation first for the very first layer So your floor and what you need to look for is if you can see I'm mousing over the floor. It's changing blue so each building piece has stability in Valheim. Blue is best and red is worst. And you can see they actually change in colour as you go further and further up. So when you're placing down floor, you need to make sure that the actual colour when you highlight it is blue and not green. Like here, you can see I've raised it up off the floor on these beams. So the floor is blue. So initially that building you can see over there I've actually raised it off the floor on all these little beams uh, but now what I've done is gone around the edges and in the inside and raised the floor up so now the the actual wooden floors are on the ground instead of on these little beams now as we're putting on the roofs this is where I was getting most of the trouble with that building in the distance I was trying to get the the roof in to go further and further out but it just kept falling off no matter what I was doing and you can see the difference between you know our green base and the blue base from these tiles here. You can see that's like an orange and that's pretty much red. So if we was to build on this red one, you can see it's now really red. And if we build right on the edge, you can see it falls off. And that's because this piece here is you know the reddest red you can get. So it's basically telling you when you build an extra thing on onto there. It's going to break so you can see we've got three thatched roofs and then the fourth one breaks so when it comes to extending your roofs out you can pretty much only build three thatched tiles no matter what your base is yeah you can see they're both red and if you build onto a red piece it's gonna break off see and i'm going to show you how to get the most out of your support beams to see which one's best and which one actually improves the stability of your structures the most. So what I've got here is two meter wood pole. So you can see these thatched tiles, the third one is red. So if we was to build another tile, it'll break. But if I put another wood pole here, once it does its checks, it's changing it to like a very light orange. So that means we can build another one on top of that. Also move that beam, then it's going to break off. What you need are these long poles. We build another roof. You can see it's changed to green now. That's orange. Then we can place another one on there, and now it changes to red. So using these long poles lets us extend our roof out by an extra one. And you cannot build these long poles straight away and they're four meters long. So what you need to build these long poles is core wood. So you can see the bottom of your screen. And the way to get core wood is from pine trees. Not sort of the normal trees you start off in the meadows. You need to head to the black forest. So now you're on the black forest and you need to find the pine trees. And it's not these thick ones here, these are fir trees. So don't bother cutting them down. They will only give you normal wood. So these trees here, these are the trees you need to look for. These are the pine trees. They're tall, thin, and they get really leafy towards the top. So what I would recommend is actually getting a flint axe to cut these down just to make it a bit quicker. And when you go into the black forest, yeah, just, just be on the lookout for any any enemies first time i went in here i got ambushed by a troll and a bunch of gray dwarfs so the core wood you can see it's actually these logs that's what you're looking for and what's great about these core logs as well is that because they're stronger and more stable you can see i've put a two meter one here then two four meter ones the top roof tile here is now like a yellowy shade instead of if we remove that it goes back to red so you can make like massive structures if you make sure you use these four wood log poles and what you can also do as well just just to 
increase the stability of your existing structures is you can just place them in the middle of walls and then that will just boost up the stability of your entire structure as well so you can do that and yeah you get a much better you get so many more options to to build so i hope that helps you out i'll be doing more sort of guides and little tips on valheim when i come across them and you know get them and i'll also be doing like a let's play series as well so if you like the sound of that give the video a like and subscribe for more thank you for watching cheers